What's wrong with it? Clayton says it looks too bumpy. Where? Look at how what do you mean where? Clayton, Clayton had it looking really nice, and then I came and No, Dakota messed had it looking really nice. Dakota did it really And she's good, like, and I want to do it. it and then I said, start no, straight. I, go. I think it's fine. Here's the process of installing our new mattresses for our cows to lay on. First, we put down a bunch of foam padding on top of plastic, and then we duct tape the plastic together so the foam pad never gets wet. Now we unroll a rubber cover over the, the whole run of freestalls. Uh, it, it's seamless, it's all one roll. We let it relax overnight so it can stretch or contract a little bit. Then we nail down the sides with concrete anchors and that's how it looks when it's all done. Now we put in our freestall mounting rails and before you know it, we had them all in in just a matter of a few hours. So we got everything in, installed. Now it's raining and we got a, we got a leaky roof. We got holes in the roof up there. It's pretty discouraging when everything's falling apart. We're just trying to trying to rebuild things a little bit at a time, but it looks good. I guess we gotta be positive about about that. We'll keep going forward. If anybody has any kind of a product or a service that can foam or rubberize or do something to fix this, get a hold of me because the whole roof is rusted out between the seams there and dripping right into the free stalls where the cows lay. exactly how I planned. Mm. Gotta get under there to turn the water valve off. I can't Maybe again. Here we go. Ah. Mm. Look at this. The cow tooth. Cow's uh, teeth can be fine by water cup sometimes. They, they fall out. You should uh, watch the video, Do Cows Have Toothaches? Put that right there. This is turning into a real crap show. All I want to do is put this cup on, but I had to shut that water off and I couldn't reach the valve until I lift it up. Now I got to unbolt the other side because this side still has legs on it. So much poop on here, I can't see what's going on. All right, there's only 
one bolt. And that whole anchor is turning. So I couldn't get the anchor out, so I thought I could try ripping it out. And that still didn't work. I had to get my sawzaw. That water cup's anchor is probably the only thing in the farm that's actually bolted down the way it's supposed to be. Need a little finer tooth. Here we go. We use the torch. I got everything cleaned off. That's my water coming in. And I'm gonna set it. There's a hollow spot up in the water cup where the hose is gonna go up inside. So hopefully everything goes well. Okay, we got the cover off. Let's see how it how it ended up. Looks like there's just enough room on the back side of that. That water coming up there. The valve is okay. And here's my water line I gotta hook up. Everything looks good. This is what's underneath the water cup. It'll be insulated so this hose will not freeze, hopefully. Oh, well, we got the water cup up there but I'm not too happy about what I see. That little spot right there, um, the cup is too small for the hole or for the spot. What's gonna happen is the cow is gonna stand on it with its front legs and then put its feet in here. And then it's gonna put a hole in there. This is not designed for cows to step into Cows like to step in the water because I don't know why. They think, they think it's fun or something. But I got to do something about that. And I am not... I'm not real happy about that. That I didn't think about that. or I guess there's so many things you can't foresee and you have to just 
take care of the problems as they come up. So I'm gonna sit here for a minute, think about what I can do to fill that gap and that it won't hurt a cow, it'll be cheap and strong for a cow to try to stand on it. Maybe come up with something on an angle or something so their feet will like slip off. Uh, let me think about that for a minute. Clayton had an idea of, of um, putting some of these pipes here and we had these outside. I just cut them down. They were really long pipes, plastic. And we're gonna anchor them to the floor and that'll be just perfect that they can't get their little toes on there and then step up into the cup. And now we're gonna drill a hole down. We're gonna drill a hole into the concrete. We're gonna pound a piece of rebar in there, have it come all the way up. And we're gonna fill these with concrete. Well, there's always something that throws a wrench into the gears, but failure is not an option. We need to figure things out and we like to figure things out, how to come up with a solution, quick, easy, and cheap. And a lot of times those all count, contradict each other. So we think we got an idea. I got my destructions and uh, it says read carefully. It must be important, but maybe they should have put it in a better bag that didn't put water in it. It's all wet. Now I can't even read my important instructions. I was feeling a little creative, so I thought I would give the cows a little inspiration. milk that's what it's all about don't worry we're going to dump the rust out of the water cup our golden retrievers are really loving the sunshine today now we put down a nice dusting of sawdust to keep the top of that rubber more slippery and absorb any moisture this is our woodchuck bedding spreader it'll do sawdust and there's also models that do sand let me know if you're interested i can hook you up we're almost ready to let the cows in. We just gotta go down the back alley and finish picking up some stuff on the floor. But it looks awesome. And here's my little artwork after it dried. So the cows are in now and they all got their own stall and they look pretty happy to me. This one's got its feet up like it's on the lazy boy, just chilling. This one looks like it's just cashed out, really relaxed, taking a nap.
and she's got her feet stretched out forward. That's something that they couldn't do in the other stalls because they were hooked to the ground on every stall. This is clear span. They can stick their feet under it. And here's something really cool. Here's an actual cow getting up. This is called a lunge right there. That's when she lunges, that's how she can get momentum to get up. So lunge room is very important in a free stall. And that one gives you plenty of lunge room. The drunk guy at the reception and the wife wants to keep dancing. He's done. <laughs> I can't tell if she's like sleeping or just like resting her head. She's being so funny right now. Now we're already measuring our next section to redo. There's always repairs to do on a farm. Mm -hmm. 